So Moon Carl is releasing a new token, Medieval Empires or May. You know, the same guy that surprised his parents with the Bugatti that he bought for himself. Yes, that Moon Carl. And to say that I'm a harsh critic of Moon Carl would be very accurate. And the reason for that is because he has a habit of shilling tokens to his following that uh, we'll say tend to underperform the market. So here is the last token that Moon Carl shilled heavily to his following, and that was Costa. And as we can see, Costa is down nearly 98, 99% on the year. Now, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. It's been a terrible year for crypto across the board. Lots of tokens are down 90 plus percent. So I decided to take a deeper look into May or Medieval Empires. So like I do with any token, I started at their website. Now, when you get to the website, you're met with a few headers, and one of which is the tokenomics tab. So I right away clicked on the tokenomics tab to see what we're dealing with as far as the token distribution. And let's say uh, we were off to a pretty rough start. So here is the token distribution. The immediate thing that sticks out to me is that only 4% of the entire distribution will be available to the public. That means what you or I could buy on an exchange would only be 4% of the total supply. Now, why is this a major red flag? Well, in my eyes, anytime I see a team holding a massive majority of the tokens or team and seed investors, I immediately assume that I'm going to be dumped on if I buy this token. And the reason for that is because a common strategy for teams to, I'll say, cash grab from the public is to release a very finite amount of a token, so only a few percent of the total supply, allow the public to drive the price of that token through the roof, through pumps and shills, and then as soon as the token price gets up there, they start dumping all the tokens that they have. Now, there is one mechanism that can help prevent that, and that is a vesting schedule, which means those are tokens, any tokens that are vested are locked up and the team cannot access them to sell them until the vesting period ends. And we do have a vesting period with this project, but here's the problem. The vesting schedule gives ranges. It doesn't give how many tokens specifically are being locked for what period. In the seed investment and in private rounds, they're only locked between two months and 22 months. So it's you know, are we talking about two months here? Are we talking about a couple years? Like how much is locked for two months and how much is locked for 22 months? Those are things that we're not told in this vesting schedule. And again, is another massive red flag. Now, the initial market cap, and this is another point that uh, was a red flag in my eyes, as if the first two weren't enough. Uh, the initial market cap is $780,000. Now, okay, so that's a relatively low initial market cap. But the seed and private round raise was for 3.6, almost $3.7 million. The total capital raising was for $4.8 million. So to me, this is a, another huge red flag. We've got raises that are way more than the initial market cap. And the reason for that is obviously that so many tokens are being allocated to seed investors, the team, and everyone else who's getting involved early. So... The tokenomics at this point are totally toast in my eyes. These tokenomics are terrible, but I decided to continue looking anyway. Now, something that I noticed that stuck out right away to me is that when you go to the website, there's really nothing about the game. Uh, you, you get some stuff, you know, you go to the white paper and read about it a little bit, but even the descriptions are pretty vague. It's like, build your empire, build buildings, conquer. You know, it's not very descriptive on what the actual game is. And as a matter of fact, I couldn't even find any good trailers on the game. So I decided to go take a look at the Medieval Empires uh, YouTube because they do have a YouTube channel. It's got 1.79 thousand subscribers. I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> 1,790 subscribers. Um, but again, something I noticed here is that there's no real gameplay. Like, what's the game? The only things that I could find on the gameplay were a couple videos of the map. And they're not very, like, good, you know? Like, you can see the map. The map's kind of cool. But what's the game like? What's the gameplay? There was one video that had a clip of the gameplay, but it was hardly gameplay. I would say it doesn't really do a good job of explaining what's going on. And 
a project that's getting ready to release a token, you would assume has enough of the game built that they could give you a good gameplay trailer. Now, another major red flag, they're just piling up at this point, that stuck out to me was that out of the 18 videos that the Medieval Empires YouTube had posted, seven of them were how to either buy land in the game or buy tokens. So, again, another major red flag. Why are they promoting the token purchase so much? Well, I think it's pretty obvious as to why they would be shilling this token, right? They have an interest in the token doing well, but and that's not uncommon for you know projects and teams to post about their token, but you would assume that the product itself would be in there somewhere. The product being the game in this case would be more prevalent than buying the token. Like, you know, these AMAs and everything, they're all about the token. And they do talk about the game every now and then, but it hardly goes into any good detail. And another component that I mentioned just a second ago is that there are also land purchases. So you can purchase land basically in the game to build your empire on is what I've gathered of how and what the land purchases are for, which is another way that money gets directly funneled to the team and investors because if you buy the land plot, that money goes right to the project's treasury. And I don't really know what that treasury is being used for. I couldn't see a breakdown for the treasury, what the plans were for that. Maybe there's somewhere in there. I couldn't find them. Now, I wanted to bring all this up to you guys because, again, this token has been shilled so heavily by Moon Carl and lots of other influencers on Twitter that I am assuming, and this is just my opinion, they're probably getting paid to shill uh, or getting a lot of tokens. And so this is their hopes of pumping the token price so that they can quickly sell them all to the retail investors. And if I had to take a guess, if you told me today to predict where this token would be in a few months' time, I would say that the chart's probably going to look pretty close to the Costa chart. Again, for the reasons that we talked about before, the tokenomics are absolutely abysmal. Game aside, everything else aside, even if they had lots and lots of trailers of the game, the tokenomics just are not there for me. I don't like the idea of a team holding as many tokens as they do um, and having the ability to sell those tokens right on day one. So I wanted to put this video out there more as just a heads up to you guys. If you know it's your money, you choose how you invest it. If you think it's a great project, then by all means, buy the token. But my two cents is, is I do not at all like this project. So guys, I hope this video finds you well. If this is your first time to the channel, please like and subscribe, and I will catch you all next time.